Hello! Hello and welcome to another episode of my podcast. Um, my name is Cheryl and I call this Cappuccino Crafts. My username on social media is Cappuccino136 and you can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, and Goodreads. Yeah. So, I don't uh, record video down here uh, very often at all because it's just, um, this is usually the room where where there's where we do most of our stuff most of our hanging out and uh, spending time and um, so this usually isn't a, a quiet place where I can be alone to record generally um, but uh, there's an opportunity right now so I decided to to take it. Um, Mom and Dad are resting upstairs um, and in a in a while we'll be uh, getting lunch but uh, it's a it's a relaxed Sunday and here in the United States it is a holiday weekend um, Monday is Labor Day here in the United States, which traditionally is like the opening of fall and school starts. And now, oh, schools now, uh, some schools have already started, um, but traditionally, um, after Labor Day was when all the all the schools started back. So, yay! I love fall and I love back to school. I talked about that in my last episode. Um, yeah, I saw. And uh, I saw a picture of a, a, an advertising photo um, of Starbucks pumpkin scones. So the fall foods and the pumpkin stuff is coming back um, now. I used to really, really, really love pumpkin spice lattes. That used to be my uh, my obsession every fall. <laughs> I'd want to drink as many of them before they went away. Uh, and I uh, know it's been for a few years now. I've kind of been a little bit over over pumpkin spice latte, but I still really enjoy pumpkin flavor and pumpkin food in the fall. So I am going to have a pumpkin scone soon. Don't know when, but it's going to be soon. Um, and I love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie so much. Um, I can't even tell you. Yeah. And I will bake a pumpkin pie. What? I know. I hate baking. I don't make the crust. I buy a ready-made frozen crust because I can't do that. I can't make a crust. But the, the pumpkin custard filling is really very simple. So I can do that. I can handle that. It's uh, just pumpkin puree from a can. I don't I don't roast and puree my own pumpkin. I know. I don't have time or energy for that. 
but um yeah so it's just canned pumpkin puree and some eggs and some evaporated milk and some spices and there's no special technique to it you just uh, uh, follow the instructions on the can and maybe uh, change some of the spices up if you want or um, sometimes I add a little rum yeah that's good one time I tried making I had a recipe that called for coffee and put a little coffee in that was interesting but we didn't make it again yeah so that's that starting with a little food rambling instead of getting straight to the crafts but that's okay I hope you don't mind um, and I haven't yet said thank thank you for uh, watching this video and um, spending a little time with me together uh, I hope you enjoy having a little crafty chat and go ahead put me on pause and if you don't already have a, a beverage you can um, you can do the pause and go get uh, any any beverage of your choice and get comfortable settle in Get out your yarn and your needles or your hook or your spindle or your spinning wheel or whatever you need and let's let's have a good time yeah so it's it's been a pretty good week and I'm glad it's September now it's September 1st today and and the online knitting community especially uh, people active on IG it's been uh eventful <laughs> eventful in the um in the discussion about white supremacy and racism and inclusion and all of that um yeah there's still a lot of resistance and silencing and threatening and things going on but if we all use our voice if everyone will do a little bit and um, use whatever voice or platform or whatever action is um, possible for you they can't silence so many people they can only do so much so um, persist if you want change if you if you are hoping for change and trying to support change persist Please, and we have to look out for each other and um, work together and um, working you can see here <laughs> I'm still working on the boxy sweater by Hohi Locatelli uh, I haven't mentioned the yarn in a couple episodes so uh, I will say here that this yarn is dream and color smooshy which is a fingering weight yarn uh, superwash merino and the colorway is mild tedium 
and I'm I am so loving this colorway and I'm loving this project and I it's gonna be the perfect cozy up fall sweater it's gonna be really relaxed and oversized which is the point of boxy yeah so um, I'm thinking I'm approaching between 40 and 50 percent through this project. That's just a kind of a, a wild estimate. Um, and my uh, Mercury socks are going well. Here's one of them. Here's one of my Mercury socks, and they're still going well, and I really like them. They're still the only uh, pro works in progress I have going, except for that blanket, which is a very a background, long-term scrap project. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, what what I might want to come up. Yeah, but I haven't settled on anything for the next cast on. Um, I do. Uh, I know the audience is small, but. That's okay. If there's anyone who is watching who enjoys Victorian uh, novels and enjoys, yeah, uh, on BookTube there is a thing <laughs> called uh, Victober for October which is where you read Victorian literature. And there is a booktuber, Mel's Books and Adventures. I'll put her, uh, her channel name in the, in the information box below when I make the show notes. Um, she in another channel, I forget her, the other channel's name, uh, and, well, actually, a few other. They are hosting, she and some other booktubers are hosting a knit and read-along. Where we will read uh, Adam Bede. I believe that's the name of it. It's either, it's by George Eliot. It's a George Eliot novel, and I... I do enjoy George Eliot. I've read um, I can't remember the title of the one that I've read but I really liked it. Um, and so listen. The idea is you listen because you need your hands to knit. Listen to an audio book of Adam Bede by George Eliot and knit. Knit whatever you want to knit. Or uh, some people have said in comments that they're planning to crochet, which they are perfectly uh, perfectly welcoming to crocheting what you want. Um, there may even be a couple of people sewing, but I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so if you're planning future projects, I don't know how far ahead you plan your projects, uh, which that's a good question to um, chat about maybe in the comments. How do you, um, do you just kind of off the cuff cast things on as you go? Or do you like to plan projects ahead? Um, 
and do you maybe make goals for the year and plan your projects accordingly? Um, um, and how do you choose what what projects you're uh, you're putting in your queue? Yeah, how do you choose projects? And um, do you plan or just kind of go by what you uh, feel at the moment and what inspires you to cast on? Anyway, for those who are planners and for those who enjoy Victorian literature and enjoy a knit-along and a read-along, that is happening. Mel's Books and Adventures and the Victober Knit and, and Listen Along. I plan on definitely, definitely participating. I don't know what sweater I'll do. Have not made that decision yet, but there's time. It's October, so we've got a month. Yeah. So that's the crafting news and content. Uh, I hope your creative projects are all going well and you're enjoying what you're working on. Um, I'm still progressing as far as TV and movies and things and watching. I'm still progressing through the uh, most recent season of iZombie and enjoying that a lot. It's um, some interesting things are happening this season and I uh, kind of can't wait to see how some things develop. Also, I was very excited and I watched the first new episode of the new, newly released, probably it's already been on BBC, but it just came onto Netflix, um, The Great British Baking Show, newest episodes, and... They didn't release the whole season. Looks like they're going to go uh, release one episode a week. So it's not uh, bingeable yet. But I watched the first episode. Cakes. I think they always start with cakes. I love... Any, any Anybody who watches this video, do you like the British Bake Off too? I love that so much. Yes, it's a competition, and there are a lot of reality competition shows, and there are a lot of food competition shows, but this one just is special to me because the tone is so different from almost any competition show that I've watched. Um... And they're they're out in the tent baking and the they're just on it's like a beautiful estate where they have the grounds that they put the tent up and there's it's just beautiful setting and they the tone is just so so they're they're competing but it's not, there's no cutthroatness at all. There's no trash talking. There's no, everybody there just loves baking. And they're excited to, to take the challenges. And everybody just is there to, to celebrate baking and do their best and support each other and to to do the best that they can and the hosts are funny the hosts are funny and the judges 
um, yeah, they are tough. They're tough, but they're also, um, they're not mean. There's no mean spiritedness at all in the, in the hosts or the judges. And it's just so really, it's a pleasure. And with the gorgeous grounds and they do little beauty shots of like the field and sometimes there's sheep and ducks and geese and um, it's just so lovely everything about it and it um, it just is very it's just it's so it it feels good it just feels so good and I know I hate baking but I love watching them bake um, and uh, their challenges are really exciting and challenge I mean really they are real real technical challenges and you're like wow and they do amazing things I just love it I love it so much so really happy that's coming back and I'll be watching one episode a week and enjoying it a lot also I haven't watched it yet but I am excited and I um, maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow um, I on on Amazon Prime they just started releasing a new series Carnival Row which is like a, a fantasy fantasy and I think maybe detective series excuse me with uh, with fae or fairies yeah and humans and so I am I, I've seen promos and they looks they look really good and it's uh, in my next episode I'll definitely tell you how I liked it after I watch it I just have not gotten to it yet um, and my two Peter S. Spiegel books are going and I'm still loving them yeah the two Peter S. Spiegel books that I'm reading are Summer Long which is urban I would call that urban fantasy it's set in present day real world but also has um, mythological and magical elements and characters and then uh, the last unicorn which is my my re favorite favorite book of his I love that so much and I have it had been like 20 years since I read it and I just felt like I really needed to read it again something reminded me of it and I'm like yes it has to happen I need I need to uh, I need to read that again and I, I am past a couple weeks ago I passed one of my favorite scenes in that book which is with Molly McGrew my favorite character when Molly McGrew meets the unicorn for the first time and it it makes me cry it and I cried when I read it <laughs> I did and I'm 
not ashamed. And it was a good cry. Now, there are good cries and bad cries for sure. For sure there are there's good crying and bad crying. This was good crying. And that scene just uh, uh, I love it so much. And I really Molly McGrew is a wonderful character. She really, really is. Um, whew. So, at the moment, uh, I think we've We've covered all the all the things that I wanted to to share, and I don't know. I might make a if I watch the show tonight, the Carnival Row show, and I really really want to talk about it. I might record a, a little clip tomorrow, so that might come at the end of this. Possibly, or not. But I believe this is the end of another video, and... I appreciate you and all, all of you who watch and um, I enjoy responding to comments when people want to chat and I hope that you and your family are well and that that you have a good week this upcoming week and I hope that uh, whatever season you're going into whether you're going into fall or whether you're going into spring wherever you are I hope uh, it's a good season for you and see you next time bye bye